it's Logan back with another video today. What we're going to talk about is something that's been on my mind off and on for a while, but recently with a couple um, events kind of going on in my life, uh, I realized the importance of it and kind of the reminder that people need to know about this. So uh, what this is in regards to is basically exercising for health and wellness and overall fitness versus aesthetics. So for a lot of people when they're getting into fitness, um, likely one of the first things that they will want to do is to lose a little bit body weight and make themselves look better. Um, whether it's without clothes on, maybe with clothes on, um, but likely it is uh, primarily aesthetics driven. There are some individuals who do want to improve their health, but for the most part, people want to uh, look better and feel better. The issue, um, not necessarily with this at the beginning, but it, it becomes kind of a, like a long-term thing when aesthetics is only your primary goal. And uh, the issue with aesthetics being only your primary goal is that for some of these individuals, they'll reach to use um, performance-enhancing drugs to then make themselves look better um, because they simply can't keep up with the others around them. They're not as genetically gifted. Um, they think that results should come a lot sooner than they actually do or potentially just who they look up to. Um, maybe they're reading a lot of fitness related magazines. Uh, maybe they watch YouTube videos of people who are taking steroids and do have really good physiques. But that's just that. They have really good physiques because they take steroids, have really good genetics. It's not because they are inherently um, better equipped to work out or have better knowledge. It's because they just have kind of broken the system. And it's become really prevalent on Instagram when people are chasing um, likes and followers to do this to kind of fast track things to just gain popularity it's very ego driven and it's extremely unfortunate that it's come to this because for you know most of us we wanted to get into health and fitness to yes look a little bit better but also feel better and just live a healthier longer life um, one of the other big issues i have with kind of taking steroids and doing stuff like that is that it's a very small portion of your life we're talking about. You know, when it comes to you wanting to look shredded and look the best, you're not going to want to be really thinking about that when you're like 60, 70, or 80, assuming you even get there. Um, you know, if you do start to use steroids and potentially abuse them throughout your life, you might not get to that age. But I personally want to be moving well in my 70s, my 80s, um, even up into my 90s. Like I want to live a long, healthy life. I want to move well. I want to feel good. And I think people just need a change in mindset to think about that long-term game instead of, you know, I'm young. I want to look the biggest. I want to be the fastest. You can have those goals. But compromising yourself and, you know, going to steroids, is it really worth it in the end? Um, something that I always talk about when I preach with uh, working with clients is something that you can sustain for the rest of your life is what you should be doing when it comes to health and wellness. So if you're doing like a crash diet or a really intense workout routine that's super hard and you hate it every day, that's not sustainable. Um, just like in my eyes, taking steroids to get these fast track results also aren't sustainable. So finding something that you can sustain into your 60s, 70s, and 80s is really the name of the game. Finding something you enjoy, loving the process, and that's probably the biggest thing. Um, if you're taking steroids, you obviously don't enjoy the process of just kind of building things slowly. And it's about patience. It's about, again, that change of mindset. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know this is um, something that's really prevalent nowadays with um, Instagram and Twitter and everyone posting pictures of themselves doing crazy stuff with their bodies online. Um, but I just want to make a little video on it. So go ahead, let me know what you think in the comments. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.